everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Let's start uh, at the top of our mat. Um, I'm glad you're here with me. Uh, what I want to tell you, this is my very first class, so bear with me. I'm a little bit nervous. Also, if at any point in this practice, there's something you don't feel like doing, or it hurts, don't do it. This is a feel good yoga class. Nothing about this class is supposed to stress you out. It's not supposed to stress me out. We're supposed to be doing this together for good health. All right, let's start by um, setting our intentions for our practice today. It could be a word or a phrase, it's your choice. Okay, let's start with five breaths. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, palms at heart center. Inhale, arms up. Maybe look up for a gentle back bend. Exhale, palms at heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're going to do a forward fold. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, forward fold with a slight bend in your knee. Be gentle. Let's hang here for a few seconds. Feel free to maybe cup the elbows if it feels good or sway from side to side. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, hands on your shins, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise up, head will come up last. Inhale, raise your arms up. And exhale, palms at heart center. Now with your fingers all clasped, except for your pointer finger and your thumb, raise your arms up. And we will do some standing side bends. Inhale, exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, back to the center. And lower your arms by your side for a mountain pose. Now we're gonna do some standing twists in this next movement. Let's try to keep our hips and our feet facing forward as we twist to the right and the left. Okay, inhale, raise your arms up. And exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, 
Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center. And exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back to center. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step back for your first downward facing dog. In this downward facing dog, especially your first one, I invite you to keep a nice bend in your knees and to try to keep your back as straight as possible. So you're gonna really feel a nice stretch in your back. So feel free to keep this bend in your knees. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Maybe pedal the he heels down one at a time. Breathing through all the sensations you feel. And get ready to find your, to wave forward to plank. Inhale and wave the body forward to plank. Try to have a straight line from your heel to the top of your head. Exhale, halfway down. You can either do knees up or knees down. Let's do knees down for the first one. Inhale for your cobra. And exhale back to your downward facing dog. Again, let's do that one more time. Inhale, wave forward to plank. Knees down for your chaturanga. Inhale for your cobra. And exhale back to your downward facing dog. this next one you can still stay on your knees or if you would like to do more and want to keep your knees up and you're ready for it let's let's do it inhale wave forward to plank exhale chaturanga inhale for your upward facing dog And exhale back to your downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, heels up. Wave forward to plank. Exhale down to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back down to your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up for a three-legged dog. And exhale, step that right foot forward. Knees down. And come up for a low lunge on the right side. <sighs> Breathe. Inhale, raise your arms up for, a cat, for cactus arms. And let's get ready for a few breaths in this lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, 
cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Now in this position, you either keep your toes curled like I have, or feel free to lay them back down, whichever is more comfortable for you, or whichever makes you feel more balanced. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms, cactus arms. Feel like a gentle opening in the chest in the cactus arms. Get ready for a twist in this lunge. Inhale, arms up. And twist to the right with your palms facing right, arms outstretched. Breathe in this twisted lunge. You can stay here or move into a prayer twist. Hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Let's go back to center, arms up. And let's move into some half splits and forward lunges. Frame your right foot. Inhale and exhale back to half split. In this half split, foot is engaged. You're going to feel that stretch in the back of your right leg. Inhale, forward lunge. Exhale, half split. Toes are facing the ceiling. Inhale back to forward lunge. Exhale back to half split. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. What do I call this a forward lunge? This is a low lunge. Sorry. From this low lunge, we're going to step this left foot back to meet the right foot for a forward fold. Forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise up. Head will come up last. Raise your arms up and get ready for chair pose. Have your big toes touch, your heels maybe two inches apart and sit back down in your imaginary chair. Thumbs back, pinkies forward. Let's take five breaths in this chair pose. chair pose. Palms at heart center. Turn to face your right. Hook that left elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist. Breathe. We'll do a few breaths in this prayer twist. Ready back to, to go back to center. Inhale, arms up. 
and release from that pose. Whew. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step back to downward facing dog for a vinyasa. Inhale, heels up, wave forward to plank. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale for your back bend. Upward facing dog. Inhale back to your downward facing dog. We'll do everything on the other side. Inhale, raise your left leg up for a three-legged dog. And exhale, step that left foot close to the left hand. Lower your right knee down for your lunge. Whew. Inhale, raise your arms up. And let's get ready for a few breaths with the cactus arms. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Get ready. In this next one, we're going to twist to the left. Inhale, arms up. And twist to the left with your arms outstretched, palms facing the left. Let's take three breaths, three to five breaths in this pose. stay here or move into your prayer twist in your lunge. Hook that right elbow on the outside of the left knee and twist. Don't forget to breathe. Last breath in this pose, and we're going to move into our half splits. Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, frame your left foot for your little lunge. Exhale back to your half splits, toes are facing up. Inhale forward. Exhale, move back into your half splits. Inhale, for low lunge. Exhale, half split. Feel that nice stretch in the back of your left leg. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and from here, let's move that right, step that right foot to meet the left foot, and get ready to move into a forward fold. Slowly come up, and we'll come up last, arms up, and get ready for chair pose. Big toes touch, heels about two inches apart, and sit down. 
pinkies forward, thumbs back. For this chair, why don't we do a chair flow? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, move the arms back, palms face down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, arms up. And get ready for our prayer twist. Hands to heart center. Twist to the left. Hook the right elbow outside the left knee. And twist. If your heart is raising, that's good and that's normal. Mine is. Ooh, get ready to come up. Release from the pose. Ooh, and forward fold. Step back to a downward facing dog. Feel that nice lengthening of the spine. Let's take a few breaths here. Get ready for a vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels. Wave the body forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back to your downward facing dog. From here, let's move into warrior one with the right leg. I'm positioning my back leg. Uh, wait, sorry. Lift your right leg up. Step it forward. Anchor that left leg at a 45 degree angle. Knee over ankle and come up for your warrior one. From warrior one, we're going to move into warrior three. Step that back foot closer to the front foot. Mm. Tip the body forward, lift that back leg up. Toes point downward, hips as evenly as possible. From here, let's move into a standing split. Oh, move your palms to the mat and lift that back leg up any amount while keeping your hips in a neutral position as possible, meaning don't open it up. Keep it neutral, facing, <laughs> facing uh, even. I don't know how to explain that. I'll figure it out. Standing split. From here, get ready to release from the pose. Forward fold. Slowly come up. Head will come up last. Hands by your side for a mountain pose. Whew. Let's do that on the other side. Warrior with the left leg forward. All right, step into your warrior, right leg back at a 45 degree angle. 
left leg forward, knee on top of your ankle. Oops, warrior one. Your hips as evenly as possible facing forward. Let's breathe. From here, we're gonna move into warrior three. Step that back leg closer, and then get ready to tip the body forward into a warrior three. Toes will face the floor. Hips as evenly as possible. Warrior three, let's go ahead and move into standing split. Does not matter how high that back leg goes, but really try to keep your hips um, in line with each other. Get ready to release from the pose. Right foot, right foot, meet the left in a forward fold. Slowly come up, reach the arms up. Hands by your side, mountain pose. Whew. Now let's move into warrior two. In warrior two, your hips are gonna be, we're gonna be kind of opening our hips. Step back to warrior two. In this position, back foot is also at a 45 degree angle. Knee on top of ankle on the right. Stretch your arms. Hips are now more facing the long side of your mat. Warrior two, we're gonna move into side angle pose. In side angle, you can use a block or you can use a block if you want to. Um, or actually in this first side angle, I'm just gonna put my right elbow on the right knee and left arm over your left ear. Try to have a nice line of energy from your ankle all the way to the tips of your finger, fingers. From this side angle pose, we're gonna move into reverse warrior. Left hand behind the left leg, right arm comes up. Look in any direction that feels good for your neck. Either look at your back foot or up at your raised palm. From this reverse warrior, Let's move into triangle. Straighten that bent forward leg. Straighten that. And move into triangle. A block is good in this pose. I like to put a block outside my leg. If you don't have a block, just put your hand on your shin. For triangle pose. From 
triangle pose, we're going to move into balancing half moon. Put your left hand on your left hip. Look down. Step that back foot closer to your front foot. Hand in front of hand in front of your right foot. Slowly lift that left leg up. And when you're ready, raise your left hand. Arm and hand up. Last few seconds in your balancing half moon. From here, we're going to move back into reverse warrior. Step that back leg down. Reverse warrior, left hand back in the back of that left leg. Look up. Let's do two breaths in this pose. And come down. Downward facing dog. You can do a vinyasa or just stay here. If you're going to do a vinyasa, do it with me. Inhale, raise your heels up. Wave the body forward to plank. From plank, chaturanga. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and from upward facing dog, move back into downward facing dog. Let's do everything on the other side. Inhale, raise your left leg up, step it forward for our warrior two on the left side. Back foot as a, is at a 45 degree angle. Come up, knee on top of ankle. From this warrior two, we're gonna move into extend into our side angle or extended side angle. Choose the version that feels good for your body. You can either do the same thing we're doing this one side where the elbow is on the knee, or if you wanna go deeper into the pose, you can either use a block or without a block. to our reverse warrior. Right hand behind the right leg. Left hand up. Look in any where that feels good for your neck. From here, straighten that left leg. Get ready for triangle. triangle we're going to move into balancing half moon put your right hand on your right hip step that back leg closer to your front foot move 
move your block or your hand in front of your left foot. And when you're ready, lift your right hand. Here we're going to move back into reverse warrior. A few breaths in our reverse warrior. And come down into a downward facing dog. I don't know what happened to our music, but such is life. Next, let's lift your right leg up again for a three legged dog and step it forward. We're going to do our second set of warrior two. From warrior two, we're going to move into extended side angle. same thing we did earlier or hand up in the front of the foot you can use a block if that feels better last few breaths in this pose and we're going to move into some side lunges Move that block away if you got a block and curl to face the long edge of your mat. For some side lunges, bend your right leg, extend the left. Do what feels right for your body, either heels up or heels down. Toes up or toes down. And let's move to the other side. done both sides equally. Whew. Move into the center for a wide-legged forward fold. Place your left hand right underneath your face for a twist. Look up at your right hand. And let's do the other side. Release from the pose and curl and crawl to your downward facing dog. Let's do everything we did just now on the other side. Lift your left leg up and step it forward for a warrior two. Back leg at 45 degree angle.
from warrior two let's move into extended side angle hand in front of the foot of the left foot right hand over the right ear release from this pose for a second set of side lunges curl crawl to face the long edge of your mat this time you can try to test your balance if you want to keep your hands off the mat Just keep your hands down. And when you feel like you've done both sides evenly, Let's move into our wide-legged forward fold. This time, let's do it with some calf-face arms. Lift your right hand and place it between your shoulder blades. And if you need a strap, feel free to use a strap. Grab a hold of that and forward fold. Heels out, toes turned in. Get ready to come up and switch sides. One side may feel different from the other. That's completely normal. Once you have the bind, forward fold hinging at the hips. And when you're ready, come back up. And release from the pose. Step into the top of your mat. And let's get ready for a low lizard. Step back. side of your right foot. Foot angled towards the corner of your mat. Knee comes down and hold this lizard. You can stay here in your lizard or go into a lower lizard, a low lizard. from the pose and from here you can uh, put your right hand on your knee and push it gently away to feel a gentle stretch in your hip. You can stay here or for an added quad stretch release that knee and catch your back foot. From here, release 
that back foot very gently. And let's do the other side. Toes pointing that way. Or a high lizard. When you're ready for an added quad stretch, test your balance, lift that back leg. When you have your balance, catch that foot and hold. Feel that gentle stretch in the front of your thigh. to Malasana or squat pose. If your heels are lifting in this pose, feel free to roll up your mat to support your heels. into a forward fold and slowly rise up. Lift your hands up and exhale, hands at heart center. Let's move into some seated poses. Let's do a wide legged seated pose. with your uh, back as straight as possible, meaning not rounded, hinge at the hips and forward fold. I find that keeping my chin up keeps me from rounding my back. Thank you. 
stay down. Pigeon, let's come up and move into double pigeon. Swing that left leg, left ankle over right knee, left knee over mm, right ankle. Support yourself with your fingers behind you. Here, let's move into cow face pose. That's one of my favorite poses. Stack your knees. Let's move into a prayer twist in your cow face pose. Pigeon on the other side. Left leg, bend your left leg, extend that right leg. I have a kind of uh, my left leg feels different, so I'm going to support myself with this block. Inhale. Exhale, wave down, inhale up, exhale, wave down, inhale, back up, exhale, wave down, and stay down. Get ready to come up. Let's move into double pigeon. Left, right ankle over left knee. Right knee over left ankle. Support yourself with your fingers behind you. Let's move into cow face pose on the other side. Stack your knees, hips as even as possible, and prayer twist on the right. move into a seated butterfly pose. Soles of the feet together. Forward fold any amount. Butterfly 
toes, plant your feet down, extend your arms, and slowly lower to your back for bridge pose. Move your feet as close to the glutes as possible. And when you're ready, come up. Lift your hips as high as you can. If it's possible to clasp your hands behind you, it will help you lift your chest and hips up higher. When you're ready to come down, release from the pose and windshield wiper your legs, feet close to the edges of your mat, and move your knees back and forth to release your back. We're going to do a second set of bridge, get ready. Get ready for your bridge. Actually, if you want to do wheel, if wheel is in your practice, you can either do wheel or bridge. I'm gonna do wheel. And I have to remove that. Hands by your ears. And when you're ready to come up, release from your wheel or bridge. If you're in wheel, tuck your chin into your chest so the back of your head meets the mat first and slowly come down. Hug your knees to your chest and feel the effect of that pose. to chest pose, lower your left leg down, the right knee is close to your right armpit, and when you're ready for a twist, move your right knee across, your left shoulder down on the mat as much as possible, and look over your right shoulder. Get ready to switch sides. Come back to center. Lift your, lift your left leg close to your, your left knee close to your left armpit. And get ready to twist to the right. Left shoulder. As close to the floor as possible. Right hand holding on to that left leg and enjoy the twist enjoy this reclined twist center to a reclining butterfly pose one hand on the heart one hand on the belly 
Move into your happy baby pose after your reclining butterfly pose. Feet facing the ceiling. Grab anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Your feet, your ankles or your shins or the back of your knees. Do whatever feels right for you. Maybe sway gently from side to side to massage your back. Maybe straighten each leg one at a time if that is accessible to you. Maybe bring the soles of the feet together. Let's do one final pose before Shavasana, our relaxation pose. Lift everything up, squeeze everything up. And get ready to release. Make sure your feet are wider than your hips. Let your feet just fall naturally to the sides. Hands by your side. Let your hands just curl up naturally. Get ready to just let go and surrender. The resting pose, Shavasana allows us to let everything we did kind of get integrated in our body. Relax. And breathe. to your side. Get ready to come up. Slowly. Thank you for practicing with me today. Um, this is my first time to offer a full class for public consumption. Please be gentle. There's so many things I wanted to do, but I did not, I don't think I planned my time wisely. I didn't get to do eagle or dancer or tree, all my favorites, but next time I will. So I hope you join me. Thank you so much for being with me today.